Three days after images of China's first known crewed tiltrotor aircraft appeared online, we saw a previously unidentified compound coaxial helicopter for the first time. The aircraft, whose identification is yet unknown, is a direct clone of the Sikorsky S-97 Raider, which is manufactured in the United States and is currently undertaking test flights. The move demonstrates that China is also considering utilizing the advantages of this type of aircraft, which provides higher speeds and greater dexterity than a traditional helicopter. The new Chinese aircraft features a coaxial rotor system paired with a pusher propeller in the tail. It adopts four-blade coaxial main rotors, which appear to be a rigid design. The helicopter also has a tadpole-like fuselage shape and a similar landing gear configuration to the S-97. However, its tail fin design differs, with the larger part projecting above the tailplane, and it features fixed landing gear, bulkier tail structures, and simplified airframe elements. The engine outtakes are located on either side of the fuselage between the rotor system and the tail boom. U.S. Sikorsky S-97 Raider the S-97 Raider utilizes a coaxial rotor system combined with a pusher propeller in the tail. It is characterized by four-blade coaxial main rotors that are rigid and counter-rotating, which eliminates the need for a tail rotor. The S-97 also has a tadpole-like fuselage shape and a relatively large, plank-like horizontal tail with endplate tail fins. Its engine exhaust outlets are positioned directly beneath the main rotor and oriented to the rear a design intended to streamline airflow and minimize the thermal signature. The new Chinese aircraft is believed to be in a testing phase, with images first surfacing online in April 2025. Analysts note that the prototype is currently in its early evaluation stage, and its design details, such as fixed landing gear and simplified airframe elements, Suggest it is less mature than the S-97 Raider. U.S. Sikorsky S-97 Raider The Sikorsky S-97 Raider has undergone years of testing under the Future Vertical Lift program. It has demonstrated speeds of up to 400 km per hour and advanced agility. The S-97 prototype, a descendant of the X-2 and X-49 demonstrators, was developed as an 80% surrogate for the larger Raider X. China's new high-speed helicopter closely resembles the U.S.-made Sikorsky S-97 Raider. The footage of its test flight revealed an identical configuration, a coaxial rotor system paired with a pusher propeller in the tail. The Chinese aircraft also appears to be of almost identical size and shares the same tadpole-like fuselage shape and landing gear configuration as the S-97. U.S. Sikorsky S-97 Raider the S-97 Raider features a coaxial rotor system and a pusher propeller, a design that China's new helicopter closely mirrors. Both aircraft have a similar overall shape and configuration, including a tadpole-like fuselage and a large, plank-like horizontal tail with endplate tail fins. The S-97 also showcases the advancing blade concept, which China is now exploring. The Chinese helicopter's tailfin design is distinct, with the larger part projecting above the tailplane, rather than below it as seen in the S-97. It also features fixed landing gear, bulkier tail structures, and simplified airframe elements. Furthermore, its engine exhaust outlets are located on either side of the fuselage between the rotor system and the tail boom, suggesting a less refined approach that could impact aerodynamics and infrared management. The S-97 Raider's tailfin design has the larger part of the fin projecting below the tailplane. The Raider X, a related design, has a more pointed nose and a reversed landing gear arrangement. The S-97's engine exhaust outlets are positioned directly beneath the main rotor and oriented to the rear, a configuration designed to streamline airflow and reduce thermal signature. Strategic Implications China's New High-Speed Helicopter China's development of this high-speed helicopter is part of its effort to explore advanced rotorcraft designs and signals Beijing's ambition to expand into the high-speed helicopter domain. This move reflects China's intent to reduce dependence on imported designs 
and to challenge U.S. dominance in advanced helicopter technology. If the platform progresses, it could provide the People's Liberation Army with high-speed air mobility for reconnaissance, rapid troop insertion, or special operations, potentially reshaping regional dynamics and heightening tensions with Washington and its allies. The U.S. Sikorsky S-97 Raider was developed under the Future Vertical Lift Program to deliver higher speeds, improved agility, and enhanced survivability compared to conventional helicopters. The S-97 prototype and its larger derivative, the Raider X, were Sikorsky's pitches for the U.S. Army's Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft Program. Despite its capabilities, Sikorsky's compound coaxial helicopters currently do not have a foothold in the small and medium categories within the U.S. Army's broader future vertical lift initiative, as the FARA program was axed in early 2024.